Hey guys, Kidpool67 in here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Funko Pop Sonic the Hedgehog GameStop exclusive Super Sonic. So, as I said in my last video, I'm not, I haven't played the Sonic games too much, but I'm working on it right now, and I heard that the first appearance of this version of Sonic is in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which I haven't played much yet, so I don't know, but... Even though I haven't really played as Super Sonic in the actual games very much, this pop really caught my eye when they announced the Funko Pops from Sonic. Like, this was my favorite one out of all the pops. I just love how he's bright yellow. It's a very good look for Sonic, especially in pop form. It's just a very bright, awesome colored pop. And I had to have it. And I was super excited when I called my GameStop and they said they had this guy in. Like, I was ecstatic. I just wanted to run to GameStop as fast as possible, but I couldn't. I had to wait a couple days, but once I got there, I ran into that store like Speedy Gonzales and grabbed a pop. There was only two there, and as you'll see in a second, I did kind of mess up. The box has a little bit of damage in the back, but it's I'm pretty sure it's better than the other one because the other one had, like, a very badly dented corner on the top. So I think I got the better one of the two, plus the pop looks really clean and awesome and cleanly painted and stuff, but... Getting into the view on the front of the packaging, you can see nice artwork of Super Sonic right there. Pop Games, Sonic the Hedgehog, number 287. You can see him in his, pla his plastic-slash-cardboard prison right there, in his cool pose with the ring and stuff. Then there's a GameStop exclusive sticker, of course, and it says Super Sonic right there. And then on the side of the packaging, you can see the same type of stuff the Sonic with Emerald had, the blue pixelated background, or slightly pixelated, just pixelated on the top and the bottom. And this is Pop Games again. And you can see more artwork of Super Sonic right there, and it says the name again. And then on the back of the box, you can see it says Funko Pop Games right there. Super Sonic right there, the artwork of them. Sonic the Hedgehog, the rest of the Pops in the Wave. Sonic with Ring, Sonic with Emerald, Shadow, Dr. Eggman, Super Sonic, and Shadow with KO. Or Chaos. People call him Chaos, but it looks it doesn't have an S. But, and then it's hard to see, but I did kind of mess up with mine. There's this little crease going throughout the back. It's more noticeable in person than it is on camera. It's barely noticeable on camera. But there's this like crease going all the way through it. Which bothers me because I'm an inbox collector and I hate it when that happens. Say for instance with this group. Like right there. There's a weird crease right here. From I guess I stacked them too high and stuff. So I kind of messed it up. But getting back into this review. But that's pretty much it for the back of the box. Showed you everything on it. Then on the side of the box says Pop Games again right there, Super Sonic right there, and you can see the, the artwork at the top of his head, as usual with Pops. And not much more at the bottom, but if you want to read that, you can pause it now. And on the top of the box, you can see it says Pop Games again right here, and you can see the artwork at the top of his head, and it says Funko right here. So that's pretty much it for the packaging on this guy. I'm going to go ahead and take him out of the box and show you guys a closer look at him. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so here he is out of the packaging, and as you can see, it's a pretty nice looking pop. I might have a little bit of trouble getting him on camera because of the color of him. He's actually darker colored yellow in person, but the light's making him like really light yellow. Which he is pretty light yellow, but he's slightly darker in person than he looks on camera. But, looking at the pop, it's actually a really clean painted pop, just like Sonic. There isn't too many problems with this one. And let me adjust my light a second, see if I can get... Or see if I can get him to look a little bit better. Alright, darkening things up just a little bit. You can see he's a much darker yellow than it looks like in, when you have the light on. But he's a very clean painted pop. He has the light around his one eye with two people's. <laughs> I always joke about that because that's what it, it freaked me out when I was a kid because that's what I thought it looked like. And even the black eyes don't have any problems with them whatsoever. Very cleanly painted. And he has... The ears and they're slightly darker it's hard to tell in the video but he's actually stupid goofy he's wanting to focus on my goofy but um you can see it's like slightly darker color inside of his ears it's like more of a tannish color inside of the ears rather than a yellow and then the rest of the pop you can see it it's pretty much all a solid yellow color but it looks really nice, because that's what he is in the game. He's pretty much solid yellow, almost. Or actually, he's completely solid yellow, just about. And then he has more of a, a slightly darker skin color, I believe, than the other Sonic. Let me see if I can grab my other Sonic. And it's I think it's just slightly darker. It might be about the same. 
But yeah, it's hard to tell. It blends in with the yellow, sort of, compared to with blue. It looks weirder with blue. But, um, yeah. But then he's in a different pose than the other Sonic that I already viewed. There is a Sonic that's in this pose, though. The Sonic with Ring is in this exact pose. has the same body. It's just painted blue instead of yellow. Where he has the finger pointing and everything. But I think it looks good with this pop, too. Then, looking at the back of the pop, you can see his little tufts of hair, or quills, I guess you might be able to call them, because porcupines have, or, I keep calling them a porcupine, he's not a porcupine, a hedgehogs have sort of, like, spiky things all over them, they're spiky quill type things, and he has that sticking off his back, and then he has a little tail, and then you can see his hands holding the ring, which they painted fairly good, I think, anyway, it's painted better than most pops, this pop is, better than, like, a lot of most pops, but, um, yeah, the ring's painted really metallic, gold, that he's holding, and then his other hand's just painted out really well as well, or really well, too. And he has his finger pointing, like, in the logo, sort of like in the, when you first start playing the game, the the Sonic logo pops up, and he has his finger up in the air like that. And it plays the theme music and everything. And the rest of his body is pretty much solid yellow, except, pretty sure the circle on his chest is a skin color too, just like his face, just like in the regular Sonic, but it really blends in with this yellow pop, so it's hard to tell on camera, but it looks better in person. But it's more of a skin color in person. Same with his face. And then he has the red sneakers, just like regular Sonic, that doesn't change. His red sneakers with the golden buckles and the little things around his ankles. I'm not sure if they're socks or if it's part of the shoe. I was never sure about that. And then, not much more at the bottom, it just says Funko and everything, and it says Sega right there. Gotta put that Sega logo on there. But yeah, but not much more I can really say about this pop. be honest, it's a pretty... I'm not gonna say it's a bland pop, because this is... He looks spot on, just like Super Sonic, but it's not a super detailed pop or anything, so there's not much more I can say about this pop. But I do really recommend this for any fan. Oh, hold on a second. Then I'll show you on the back of his head, rather than the... The quills hanging down, like on the regular Sonic Pop, they stick up, of course. So it sticks up more in a triangle shaped, rather than the other one. With the regular Sonic, they fold down. Still looks like that when you hold it like this, but when you hold it up, you can see the spikes. And they stick up in the back, too. So it's not the same sculpt as the, sh it's not the, same sculpt as the Shadow or the regular Sonic. So they actually went all out with this wave. They actually sculpted different heads for all the Sonics and Shadows and stuff. Which is nice. Well, not all the Sonics. Like, there's... Two Sonic, both the blue Sonics have the same head. Other than that, but like I said, I highly recommend this pop if you're a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 or just Sonic in general. And I'm glad I have it in my collection. I think I do like this one a little bit more than the regular Sonic. But I will be picking up Shadow pretty soon. And I'll have to see if Shadow can beat Super Sonic because I always loved Shadow. I always loved the video game Shadow the Hedgehog and stuff for the Xbox or the original Xbox. Or I'm not sure if it was just on that or if it was on other stuff too, but. I loved that game, so I'm really excited to get the Shadow Pop eventually. I'm not positive exactly when I'm going to get it, but when I do, I will review it for you guys. But anyway, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're already subscribed and you haven't. Please hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. And like I said again, thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more videos by Kidpool67. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.